Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. It's Kathy and I have a new project to share with you finally. <laughs> I'll be featuring the September 2017 Paper Pumpkin Kit and this is alternate project number three. Sorry I haven't been around, but it was a super busy September for us. So we're gonna get started with today's card. Here's a quick shot of it. And here are the parts that we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using the twine from the kit and I did pre-tie an itty bitty little bow just to get that all ready. And then the two panels measure four and a quarter by five and a half, one in white and one in real red. We'll be using the circle die cut piece to create the ornament. And then we're gonna be using this joy sentiment. I did die cut it three times. It's from the wonderful wreath framelit set, which I believe is sadly retired, but still may be available in the US. And then the last thing we're gonna be using is the gold leaf sticker from the kit. All right, we're gonna get started with the circle piece and we're gonna color it using Pacific Point. So we're just gonna shade along the edge and then go towards the center. And I did leave a little bit of a highlight and that way the piece is a bit dimensional and kind of pops out. All right, and then you could use the die cut leaves for the holly that we're gonna create, but I'm gonna show you how I created using the stamp. With Well Wasabi, I'm gonna stamp out two leaves. And on this part, you can actually stamp them separately. I recommend that you do that because it'll be a lot easier on you. And then we're gonna color the leaves. So I switched over the, uh, or I flipped over the leaf stamp and ink it up with lemon lime twist and we're just gonna color it in. And then with old olive, just gonna add some dark highlights to the center. And then I'm gonna flip over the leaf stamp again and with the old olive, we're gonna stamp in the details back into the leaf there. And then we're just gonna cut out the leaf. So we'll just snip along the edge of the image. And then once we're done that, then we'll shape it into a couple of holly leaves. So basically you're just gonna go in and outwards, kind of chomp along the edge of that leaf there. And this is where it kind of gets a little bit tricky because you have that leaf connected. So that's why I recommend that you just create these holly pieces separately, okay? All right, so we're gonna move on to the next part. We're gonna grab the gold leaf and we're gonna take a couple of sections off. So we'll just snip along the parts where it connects. And I do have the little bits in between and I was just kind of extra fussing, but uh, you can just leave it in there. It'll just make it look a little more interesting. So we're gonna take that piece and then we're gonna grab the opposite one. Okay, and then the piece that's left over on my left hand there, we're gonna use that for the next card. And so here are the pieces that we snipped off. We're just gonna lay that over top of the holly just to give it some more interest and make it nice and shiny. And it's okay if they don't quite fit. So don't fuss too much if they don't fit. And I was just doing some extra fussing there by removing that little piece there, but you could have just left it in there if you had some. All right, so here's the part where uh, I didn't really like the way the hollies were sitting too far apart. So I did end up cutting it. So like I mentioned, you could actually create the holly leaves uh, separately. All right, so we're just gonna glue them together. And then we'll glue the circle piece to it. And then we're gonna need three holly berries and with real red and a quarter inch hole punch. I just punched out three of these and then I added dots on each one of them using a white pigment pen. 
Okay, and then when you glue these together, or when you glue these down, make sure they're not like bunched together. We want a little bit of a space in the center between all three of those for the for the bow. So we're going to put a little blob right there in the center there, and then the bow. Okay, and then I just put an acrylic block over top while it's drying. And now we're going to work on the joy sentiment and we're just going to stack them all together and glue them down. And that way the sentiment is uh, a little bit more rigid to work with because we're going to be sticking really thin layers of uh, foam tape onto it so that uh, we can raise it up onto the card panel. All right, and then I put some glue on the O and a little bit on the Y and the J and just line up the O smack in the middle of that circle piece. All right, and now we're going to work on the background. And I believe that was, I keep missing it, but I believe it was pear pizzazz. So to make it a little bit easier on you, I suppose, and to not create a lot of overlapping of these leaves, I'm going to create the center part first. So we're going to stamp the center part of this pattern. And then once you do the inner part of, it, of the card, we're going to stamp along the outside. Okay, now if you do overlap here and there, don't worry about it too much because we're going to be coloring in all of these leaves. So flip over your leaf stamp and then with Wild Wasabi, we're going to stamp the leaves. So just kind of stagger it as you stamp the one color. And then the next color is Lemon Line Twist. And then the last color I use So Saffron. But after I stamped it, it wasn't quite bright enough for me. So I did bring in Daffodil Delight. All right, and then with Garden Green, we're going to shade along the edges. And, uh, and I actually realized that I didn't cut it down. So I took off one eighth of an inch on the long side. Okay, so then the card measures five and a, five and a half by four inches. Okay, so we're going to remove the inside portion of this panel. And it's a little bit tedious, but well worth it. <laughs> Once we're done that, I'm bringing back the garden green and we're just going to shade along the tips of the leaves. And that just gives it that extra pop, especially when you back it onto the real red panel. So it looks really awesome. Okay, and then we'll just stick that down. And then we're also going to back it onto a side folding card base. And then the element, I have that all ready with the foam tape. I decided I'm going to stick it down on a slight angle. All right, and then afterwards I did hit the joy word with some Winkastella. So here's a shot of the first card that I made. And I did lay it down straight across. And also the holly leaf is not as dark. So you do want your holly leaf to have a little bit more contrast than your background piece. All right, so that's the card. It was pretty easy to make, a lot of fun also. And these are a couple of stills. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please stick around for the next one. Bye for now.